Hello there, welcome to CXC Math TV. Today we will be looking at rotation. So look at the diagram right here. Triangle 1, well look at the two triangles rather. What is the relationship between these two triangles? Well the title gave it away which is rotation. Oh. So rotation is just the process of an object turning. As we can see that red object there it is turning. Now to describe rotation in geometry, we're going to talk about three things. We need to talk about the center of rotation. We need to talk about the direction the, o the object rotates. And then we need to also talk about the angle the object is going to rotate. Hey! Alright, so remember the three things we're going to talk about is the center of rotation, the direction the object rotates, and the angle of rotation. So looking at this diagram right here, as we can see the center of rotation, if we were to just look at two corresponding points from the object and the image and draw those two black lines there, realize that the center of the rotation in this case is going to be the origin. Ah. The direction, which way is it turning? We see that it is turning, the object is turning in a clockwise direction. And if we were to measure that angle between the angle between the degree to which the object is turned, that angle would be 90 degrees. Ah. So in this case, we would say that the object is rotated in a clockwise direction at an angle 90 degrees about the origin. All right? Ah. So look at this question right here. Rotate the triangle about the origin with 90 degrees in the clockwise direction. How are we going to do this? Well, to do this, the first thing we need to do is write down what is known as the rotation matrix. The rotation matrix is given by cos theta, sine theta, minus sine theta, cos theta, where theta is the angle the object rotates in a clockwise direction. All right. So now here are the steps that we're going to do to find the image of the rotation. So first, label the vertices of the object. <gasps> Two, find the rotation matrix by inputting in the angle into the rotation matrix. Number three, the image point is then found by image point is the rotation matrix times the object point. Ah. Let's go ahead and do it. So labeling the vertices of the object, let's just label it as A, B, C. And we see A, B, and C appear on the diagram. That is 1, 1, 3, 1, and 2, 4. Ah. All right. So we labeled all the points on the diagram. The next thing we're going to do now is to input our 90 degrees into the rotation matrix. So the rotation matrix, cos of 90 is 0. The sine of 90 is 1. Minus the sine of 90 is negative 1. And the cos of 90 is 0. So remember the image point step 3 image point is now the rotation matrix times the object point. So A prime is 0 1 minus 1 0 multiplied by the point A and that gives us 1 minus 1. So A prime is 1 minus 1. In the same way now to find B prime we're going to multiply the rotation matrix times the point B. That gives us 1 minus 3. And then C prime, we multiply the rotation matrix times the point C2, 4. So that gives us 4 minus 2. In that case, in that case, as we can see, we just put that on the diagram. And so that triangle that appears, A prime, B prime, C prime, that is our image. All right. And if you were to just look at the diagram with the black lines being drawn from the origin and that little angle just to show you that it is indeed 90 degrees right there. All right. And so that is how we would rotate a triangle 90 degrees in the clockwise direction. Wow! Now, what about rotating the triangle 90 degrees in the anticlockwise direction? How are we going to do that? For anti-clockwise, we put the angle as being negative. Anti-negative. Oh. So the rotation matrix is going to be the cos of negative 90. 
the sine of negative 90 minus the sine of negative 90 and the cos of negative 90. That will then give you your new rotation matrix, which is 0, minus 1, 1, 0. Ah. Then you go ahead and multiply the rotation matrix times the object point. And so for A prime, we're going to get minus 1, 1. We multiply the rotation matrix times B, which is 3, 1. We get minus 1, 3. And then we multiply the rotation matrix times C. And we're going to get A prime, which is minus 4, 2. So just to present it on the diagram, right here now we can see the triangle labeled A prime, B prime, C prime. Oh. And if we were to just draw those lines from the origin again, and measure the angle 90 degrees going backwards this time we can see that the angle is indeed 90 degrees in the anti-clockwise direction easy stuff so let's look at some exam style questions now so this question says rotate triangle abc 90 degrees clockwise about the center zero zero go ahead pause the video and attempt this question all right so to do this question the first thing i want you to do is to label the vertices of the triangle label the point a b and c which we do right here so that a so we're going to label a as the point one three b as the point three three and c as the point three two and then write down the rotation matrix and then we know that we need to rotate it 90 degrees so input theta as 90 degrees that give us the rotation matrix of 0, 1, minus 1, 0. Ah. So A prime is going to be the rotation matrix times A, which is 1, 3. That give us 3, negative 1. So A prime is 3, negative 1. We put that on our diagram. B prime, we multiply the rotation matrix times 3, 3. And we get 3, minus 3. So B prime is 3, minus 3. We'll put B prime on our diagram. And C prime, rotation matrix times 3, 2. So that's 2, negative 3. And we'll put that on our diagram. So now, that is our triangle right there after we rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. Wow! That's the triangle that we get. All right. So let's look at question number 2 here. It says, rotate the trapezium. 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin. So pause the video and attempt this question. Alright, so to do this question, the first thing again I want you to do is label the points on the trapezium. I'm going to call the points A, B, C, D. And so I label those points right there. Minus 2, 2, minus 3, 1. C as minus 2, 3. And D as minus 3, 4. Write down your rotation matrix. Then remember, anti-clockwise mean we put a minus in front of the 90 degrees. So now the rotation matrix is going to be the cos of minus 90, sine minus 90, minus the sine of 90, cos minus 90. That works out to be 0 minus 1, 1, 0. Now to get A prime, we multiply the rotation matrix by the point A to get minus 2, minus 2. We multiply the rotation matrix times the point B to get minus 1, minus 3. Then we multiply the rotation matrix times the point C to get minus 3, minus 2. Then we multiply the rotation matrix times the point D to get minus 4, minus 3. So D is minus 4, minus 3. Ah. We saw all the points being labeled on the graph. So now we just need to connect, connect the points now with some lines and that is your trapezium easy 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 stuff nice what about this type of question now it says describe fully the transformation that maps triangle a onto triangle b go ahead pause the video and attempt the question all right so to do this question what do we notice well, let's use a point on triangle A. So that point that I put in orange there, let's call it X, right, on triangle A. And on triangle B, right, the corresponding point right there, X prime, that we put also in orange, we see that X is the point minus 4, minus 1, and X prime is the point minus 1 to 4. 
Aye. So we need to find out which angle is going to make triangle A be mapped to triangle B. We already know it is rotation. So we're going to check it with an angle. Let's input 90 degrees as the angle, right? We're just going to try. You're always going to try numbers like 90, 180, 270 or 360. So we're just going to try 90. So testing with 90 as we can see in the rotation matrix that will give us 0, minus 1, 1, 0. And so x prime, which is minus 1, 4, we're checking to see if it's equal to the rotation matrix when the angle is 90 times minus 4, minus 1. And yes, we do get minus 1, 4. Ah. So since we get the corresponding image point that we're supposed to get, when we try the angle being 90, it satisfies the equation, then clearly triangle A is mapped to triangle B by a 90 degrees clockwise rotation. As you can see from the black arrow right there, it was spinning in a clockwise direction, clearly, and we just tried 90. Alright, generally you want to try the numbers 90, 180, 270, or 360, but 90 in this case was perfectly fine, and it indeed worked. So we're nice. So of course, when you're writing your solution, you say triangle A is mapped to triangle B by a 90 degrees clockwise rotation about the origin. And that's it. Nice. So that concludes the video. The next thing that we're going to look at in the next video is rotation that is not taking place from the origin. So stay tuned for that video. Keep on practicing and see you soon. Have a blessed day.